To have two co-sanctions in a row and to have our home event, the Investec South African Women's Open here in Cape Town at Steenberg is just, it's fantastic. I mean, a, a course like this Steenberg to, to let us play here and the condition and to just be in the city of Cape Town also and to thank them. I mean, you know, without them, women's golf wouldn't be where it is today. Investec came on board quite early on, a couple of years ago, and they sponsored the Chase to the Investec Cup. We hosted at Millvale for, for a few years, and I think corporates have gone on and followed in their footsteps. It's been fantastic. So, yeah, it's leaders like Investec that I hope um, other corporates will, will follow suit and, and come and support women's golf. The layout of the course is absolutely fantastic. Steenberg, I mean, the condition is immaculate. Fairways, everything, I mean, it's quite wide open, but the greens are definitely, they're really, really tough. And when it gets really windy, it's really slopey and it's really hard. I mean, even if you have a six foot putt, it's not a gimme, you know, and uh, you've just got to keep concentrating. I mean, there's so many, you've got to know this course backwards because you've got to know where to hit it and to position it. I think it's a great venue. The course looks spectacular from what I've seen. And I think all the South African girls are excited for the week. I think it's a great opportunity for South African ladies, golfers, the amateurs, the professionals on the European tour or not, uh, to see what the, the standard is in Europe. And especially for the youngsters that want to head out there and the upcoming pros, um, I think it's very good because the standard is difficult out there. And bringing them to a championship golf course like this can really show what uh, the Europeans can do. I didn't know much actually, I just knew it was a really nice place, a good course in, in good conditions. So I was just super excited to come here and get out on the good conditions this week. My game plan was kind of just to just try to hit the middle of the green all the time because I knew the wind would pick up. Uh, I got some early birdies uh, on, that took the advantages and then at the back nine the wind picked up and I was just trying to stick to my plan to just hit the middle of the green all the time. Really happy with how I played today, um, a bit tricky out there early this morning, really windy and quite a lot of rain coming down that last hole, um, but no, happy with how I played and off to a good start. We were definitely allowing like up to 30 yards of wind and that's not just forward and backwards, that's like sideways as well, so yeah, it was, it was definitely a challenge, but as I say, I'm really happy with how I kind of managed myself out there and hit lots of fairways, lots of greens and just gave myself quite a few chances. Steenberg is in immaculate condition, they have rolled out the red carpet for us, it is absolutely incredible out there, everything is just pristine, so yeah, really, really happy to be here and can't thank them enough for having us. I gave um, myself a lot of opportunities on the front nine, which was my back nine, uh, but I managed only on one to make the birdie and then the rest I just parred every hole. And then on the back nine, I left myself chances like closer to the pin, and that's why I ended up making those four birdies on the last five holes. Yes, yeah, so pretty much at the start of this week, obviously knowing you're in Cape Town, looking at the forecast as well, you had to assume it was going to be really breezy every day. So I literally have done nothing but practice my punch shots the whole time. Every shot I've hit on the range has been kind of like a, a cut off, straight arm sort of finish, trying to keep the ball low. And even this morning when we were lucky to not get the wind for about the first 12 holes, I still kind of kept with that shot because now the ground's wet as well after yesterday's rain, you've kind of really got to get that ball turf connection and drive the ball forward so I'm, I'm definitely going to stick with that it worked really well today I actually haven't been hitting driver that often there's a lot of bits on the fairways where it narrows up so there's either bunkers that narrow the fairway maybe to half of its normal size or you run out of fairway into water so you have to be quite positional um, they did move a couple of tees around today so there's, may, there's probably only one par five that I can reach but even then because of the tightness around the greens I'd almost made the decision at the start of the week that I wasn't going to go for them unless I pretty much had an iron in my hand um, anything more than that I won't obviously that can change but um, yeah it's it's kind of kept it stress-free if you like the first couple of days I'm not getting so frustrated anymore obviously uh, everybody gets frustrated out there with the wind but I'm managing myself a lot better um, hitting really great golf shots I hit a lot of greens today and yesterday so if a couple of putts drop tomorrow I might be chasing Especially on the final day, um, the pins are probably going to be a little bit more tricky. I think the wind is actually getting worse tomorrow. So if I just keep doing the same thing, and like I said, roll in a couple and I might, might finish up there. 
I'm probably as pleased with it as I was with yesterday's, which is quite odd to say given there's an eight shot difference in my score, but um, it was brutal out there and I think it was just a day where I knew, everyone knew, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to be in some really difficult positions, it was just trying to minimise it and uh, I utilised the punch shot again pretty well, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to normal now, I've been using it all week so it might stick forever. Today always looked like it was going to be quite bad, as tomorrow does as well, so um, I'll be mentally prepared for that. And um, in those conditions, you do just have to, you know, accept that things can go wrong. Um, and again, not, not brace against it, but just try and keep the ball down as much as possible, keep it in play and try to leave yourself put into the wind as much as possible, which is really tough on these greens. I thought today actually didn't blow as much as yesterday. I thought yesterday was slightly tougher, but a few few tuck pins today. But yeah, I mean, I thought level four would definitely have a chance, and I started off like a house on fire. Stuck it on one, stuck it on two, missed the putt, missed the putt, you know. Uh, and that carried on basically for the whole front nine, and eventually um, on number 10 I made a long putt. It's <laughs> my longest putt of the whole week, and that gave me momentum um, going into the, the back nine. Yeah. 11 is going to be a, a tough hole, um, whether you have a wedge in or whether you go for the green. We decided to, to lay up. I had a terrible eye in, in the semi rough into the grain. I, to, I had to hit it and I just backed off it, unfortunately. Uh, but the birdie on 10, I really needed that. Uh, I was getting a little frustrated out there, to be honest, with the putting not going in. And I actually missed the, I missed the shot of the tee, got lucky. Uh, hit it on the green and made, made quite a long putt. So yeah, that, that gave me a bit of confidence going, going into the back end. I've been struggling, I have to say, the whole week. Um, it's just been around the whole. I've been hitting so, so many greens this week and I'm, I'm, I was hitting against the wind and with the wind and everything just came together, um, except the putter. <laughs> the putter just didn't want to drop. Uh, and then when it really counted, it did on the last hole.